children in the last class we have discussed how to find integration using substitution method using trigonometric identities now we will discuss how to find integration using partial fractions before going to discuss about partial fractions let us recall the concept rational function what is rational function a function of the form px by qx px by qx where px and qx are polynomials and of course the denominator qx is not equal to 0 qx is not equal to 0 is called rational function also the degree of polynomial px is less than degree of polynomial qx then we say it is proper rational function we call it as proper rational function if the degree of numerator is great less than the degree of denominator then it is a it is a proper rational function here we deal with uh, rational functions in which the denominator denominator is expressed as product of linear factors product of linear factors are uh, quadratic uh, polynomials we write the integrand given integrand into sum of simpler rational fractions using uh, partial fraction decomposition now let us see how many types of partial fractions are there now let us discuss types of partial fractions number 1 px plus q if the integrand is of the form px plus q by x minus a into x minus b that means the denominator is expressed as product of two linear factors this can be written as into partial fractions or sum of simpler functions as a by x minus a plus b by x minus b so in this way we resolve this we decompose this into two simpler rational functions and then we integrate we have to find out the unknown quantities capital a and capital b similarly the second one is px plus q whole divided by x minus a whole square that means the denominator has some power then this type of integrand can be resolved into partial fractions like x by a minus a plus b by x minus a whole square suppose you have x minus a whole cube then you write a by x minus a plus b by x minus a whole square plus c by x minus a whole cube and so on so if the repetitions are roots factors are there then we proceed in this way and the third one mainly third one is px plus q by x minus a one linear factor and one quadratic polynomial a x square plus b x plus c which cannot be factorized so this integrand can be resolved into partial fractions as a by x minus a plus since we have quadratic polynomial here here we have we have to write b x plus c by a x square plus b x plus c if this can be factorized like linear factors we could have written b by so and so and c by so and so since this cannot be factorized if you come across this type of situations then we write this as a simpler fractions like our partial fractions like bx plus c whole divided by x square plus bx plus c actually these are the main three partial fractions now let us combine this one and two in that situation we may get one more of this type px plus q by x minus a into x minus b whole square in this type we write the partial fractions as capital a by x minus a plus b by x minus b plus c by x minus b whole square so i have clubbed this one and two methods so that we can have this type of integrands also this type of integrand can be resolved into partial fractions in this way so mainly these are the main types of partial fractions now we will be solving problems basing on based on all these partial fractions let us solve the question of this type integral 3x minus 1 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 there are three linear factors in the denominator there may be two linear factors also let us see how to write this integrand let us consider only the integrand 3x minus 1 function x minus 1 x minus 2 into x minus 3 this function rational function can be resolved into partial fractions as we have discussed earlier capital A by first linear factor x minus 1 plus b by x minus 2 plus c by x minus 3 now you have to find this unknown values capital a capital b capital c and we will substitute here and we integrate to find the integral of the given function how to find this unknown values capital a b c let us see so write 3x minus 1 
is equal to capital A into x minus 2 into x minus 3 plus capital B into x minus 1 into x minus 3 plus capital C into x minus 1 into x minus 2. You might have observed actually here whole divided by x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3 will come. Here also whole divided by x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3 will come. The three factors will get cancelled. I have not written just to provide one step. So, actually in the denominator also these three factors will come. Here also the denominator three terms will come x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3 the terms will cancel. Now, we will apply elimination method to find the unknown quantities capital A, capital B and capital C. The easiest method is if you want A eliminate this and this that means let x is equal to 1 let us see how to eliminate. If you assume x is equal to 1 3 into 1 first see the LHS 3 into 1 the LHS will become 2 that is ok I will substitute also 3 into 1 minus 1 that is equal to RHS if you substitute x is equal to 1 first see first this term x minus 1 if x is equal to 1 this will become 0 because 1 minus 1 0 0 and into n thing is equal to 0 here also if you substitute x is equal to 1 1 minus 1 0 so 0 into n thing is equal to 0 therefore these two terms will become 0 now the remaining term is this substitute x is equal to 1 here therefore a into 1 minus 2 into 1 minus 3 so if you want you can write these steps also plus 0 plus 0 so in this way i have eliminated these two terms see so that easily you can get the value of a that is 2 is equal to a into minus 1 into minus 2 therefore 2 is equal to 2a implies capital A is equal to 1. So, in this way we get the value of 1. Similarly, let us eliminate other terms also take x is equal to 2. If you take x is equal to 2 this 3 into 2 minus 1 will give you if x is equal to 2 this term will become 0 because 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. Similarly, here also 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 the first term and third term will be eliminated means become 0. Now, this term will remain that is b into 2 minus 1 or I will write clearly 0 you will come to know which term has become 0. So, 0 this has become 0 plus b into 2 minus 1 2 minus 3 plus c into and this also will become 0 actually 2 minus 2 0 n thing will become 0. Now, this is 6 minus 1 is equal to 5 that is equal to b into 1 and this is minus 1 therefore, b is equal to 5 minus 5 sorry minus b is equal to 5 therefore, b is equal to minus 5. So, in this way we got the second value now let us substitute x is equal to 3. Can you say why, why I have taken x is equal to 3? So, that I can eliminate this term and this term. So, if x is equal to 3, this will become 0. If x is equal to 3, this also will become 0. Now, let us see what will happen to this. 3 into 3 minus 1 that is equal to this has become 0 plus this has become also 0 plus c into 3 minus 1 into 3 minus 2. If you simplify, you will get 9 minus 1 is 8 is equal to this is c into 2 into 1 that is 2 c is equal to 8 c is equal to 4. So, in this way we got the value of c after getting the values of a b c substitute in this function. So, that we can integrate now let us substitute the values of a b c in the given function therefore, integral 3 x minus 1 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 d x. Now, the given integrand can be resolved into partial fractions like is equal to integral a by x minus 1, a by x minus 1 is a is 1 by x minus 1 dx plus b by b is minus 5, see b by x minus 2 minus 5 by x minus 2 dx plus integral c by x minus 3 that is 4 by x minus 3 dx. So, if you integrate each term what is integral 1 by x minus 1 dx log x minus 1 dx mod x minus 1 plus c plus we will club all the constants and we write in one uh, constant minus 5 because this minus 5 is there therefore, minus 5 what is integral 1 by x minus 2 log x minus 2 log mod x minus 2 plus 4 this 4 constant I have written as it is. Now, what is the integration of x 1 by x minus 3 is log 
mod x minus 3 plus c and this is the solution of the given integrand. Children, now we will see one more example of using partial fractions, also substitution method, just observe the question, integral cos x by 1 minus sin x into 2 minus sin x. The denominator is a product of two functions. Now, this can be resolved into partial fractions by assuming sin x is equal to t. Let us assume sin x is equal to t. If sin x is equal to t, differentiating on both sides, you will get cos x dx is equal to dt. Observe in the denominator cos x dx we have. So, therefore, the given integrand can be written as integral cos x dx can be written as dt whole divided by 1 minus sin x can be written as 1 minus t, 2 minus sin x can be written as 2 minus t. So, which can be resolved into partial fractions. In the denominator, you have two linear factors. So, therefore, the integrand 1 by 1 minus t into 2 minus t can be written as capital A by 1 minus t plus capital B by 2 minus t. Observe one more important thing here, the sign of the variable is negative. That is why I have chosen this question. Now, let us find the values of A and B. 1 is equal to capital A into 2 minus t plus capital B into 1 minus t. Well, again, we will apply the elimination method. What should we substitute to get A? That means, make this term as 0. To make this term as 0, assume t is equal to 1 or you can take first B also no problem. That is, let t is equal to 1, we will get 1 is equal to here, there is no t, therefore, I have written as it is a into 2 minus 1 and this will become 1 minus 1 0, therefore, I will write 0. From this, 1 is equal to a, therefore, a is equal to 1. We got the value of a. Similarly, let us find value of b. To get b, make this as 0. To make this as 0, substitute t is equal to 2. Let t is equal to 2 by substituting in this expression. In this equation, we will get 1 is equal to, this will become 0 plus b into 1 minus 2. That is 1 is equal to minus b, this implies b is equal to minus 1. So, we got the values of a and b. Now, we will substitute the values of a and b here and we will get the integration. Therefore, integral 1 by 1 minus t into 2 minus t dt can be written as integral. What is the value of a? a is 1, therefore, integral 1 by 1 minus t dt plus integral, what is b? b by 2 minus t, b is minus 1, therefore, minus 1 by 2 minus t dt. So, the given integrand can be resolved into partial fractions and can be written in like this. Now, what is the integral of 1 by 1 minus t? It is log mod 1 minus t whole divided by, is it over or something left? Yes, minus 1 is there, whole divided by minus 1 plus or you can write this minus here, minus, this minus I have written here. What is the integral of 2 minus t? Just recall, log mod 2 minus t whole divided by minus 1 plus c, because this minus t where uh, minus t you have, therefore, you will get minus 1 here. If you simplify this, you will get first minus minus plus, I will write the positive term, then I will write the negative term, log 2 minus t mod 2 minus t minus log 1 minus t plus c. So, this is in the form of log a minus log b. What is log a minus log b? Log a minus log b can be written as log a by b. Therefore, this can be written as log mod 2 minus t by 1 minus t plus c. Now, substitute the values that is log. What is the t? t is nothing but sin x. Therefore, log mod 2 minus sin x whole divided by 1 minus sin x plus c, this is the solution for the given integrand. That means, after substitution, we find the integration and we substitute in the last function. Whenever we write the solution, just see whether the given answer is in uh, same form or in the same variable or not. Here, the question is given in terms of x. Here also, the solution should be in terms of x, but here it is in terms of t. So, this is the final solution. Let us see some more. Yes, now let us see one more question. Integral 1 minus x square by x into 1 minus 2x. If you simplify, you will get is equal to integral 1 minus x square by x minus 2x square. Just observe the integrand and tell me what is the speciality of this function. 
is it a rational function of proper form see the degree of the numerator is 2 degree of the denominator is also 2 so first to convert this into proper rational function and then we will integrate to convert this into proper rational function we have to divide numerator by denominator so now just i was doing the same thing i have taken i am dividing 1 minus x square with x minus 2x square if you take 1 by 2 here multiply 1 by 2 into x minus x by 2 1 by 2 into minus 2x square is minus x square now we will subtract 1 minus x by 2 this will become minus this will become plus 1 minus x by 2 and this x square x square will cancel now this is the remainder therefore this can be written as 1 minus x square by x minus 2x square can be written as 1 by 2 using division algorithm 1 by 2 plus remainder 1 minus x by 2 by x minus 2x square if we simplify this can be written as 1 by 2 minus i have taken minus as common and i have written here x by 2 minus 1 by again i have written as linear factors because for partial fractions we need linear factors so now the given function can be written as integral 1 by 2 minus if i take 1 by 2 outside 1 by 2 x minus 2 this 2 will go there whole divided by x into 1 minus 2x whole dx now we have to integrate since we have two functions i will separate the two functions integral 1 by 2 dx minus 1 by 2 integral x minus 2 by x into 1 minus 2x dx so simply without confusion write two different integrals if you want assume this as i1 and this as i2 so that easily you can integrate first let us consider first function here i have bracket what is i1 i1 is equal to integral 1 by 2 dx or 1 by 2 is constant which is nothing but directly x by 2 1 by 2 if you take outside integration of 1 is x x by 2 plus c if you want you can write now if you consider second one that is i2 i will take along with minus sign also minus 1 by 2 integral x minus 2 by x into 1 minus 2x dx so here we will apply partial fractions like a by so and so b by so and so so what is the integrand here x minus 2 by x into 1 minus 2x can be written as capital a by x plus b by 1 minus 2x let us find the unknown quantities capital a and b that is x minus 2 is equal to capital a into 1 minus 2x plus bx is it not now how do you eliminate b let x is equal to 0 so let x is equal to 0 so that this will become 0 here left hand side you will get 0 minus 2 is equal to capital a into 1 minus 0 because x is 0 1 minus 0 plus bx is 0 so what is